What's going on you guys, Hunter Birch here and today I'm going to be showing you time remapping transitions. Essentially slowing a clip up or speeding it up in order to make two clips flow together. So the way that this works is it's going to get the viewer's eyes distracted from the first clip just long enough so that it transitions smoothly into the second clip. So there's two things that you need to know before you start doing these transitions. And the first is that you need to have some kind of slow motion or at least a 60 frames per second camera. If you do it with a normal 30 frames a second camera, it's not going to look as smooth and probably won't look that great. So make sure you have a, at least a 60 frames a second camera and you should be good to go. The second thing, make sure that your clips flow together. Don't just do random clips and I see this so many times and they take a great video and they take awesome footage and they just throw in whatever footage they can on top of each other and there's no story behind it. It's not pulling any emotional strings from the viewer. So make sure your clips flow together and make sure that you're telling somewhat of a story with your footage. So with those two things in mind, I think you're ready to start making awesome transitions. Let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna do today. And as you can see, the clips just flow together and it looks really smooth. So this is gonna be a short one, but let's go ahead and jump right into Premiere and get started. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we've got our footage loaded up, we've got our audio loaded up, uh, let me just show you how I do this real quick. So I create an audio bin, I put all my audio in there, I have a song in there, some transition sound effects, I also create a footage bin and I just drag and drop all my footage in there. And the first thing that I do is I create a sequence called Panny um, for pancake sequence and I am just going to add all of my footage in there. So I'm going to go through and select exactly where I want to draw in and out. And so I'm running along with him right here. That's pretty smooth. So push I for in, space to play, and we'll go right about there out. And push this little, uh, the carrot, the right carrot, and it will add it to your sequence. So I'm going to go through all my footages and find exactly where of the clip I want to add to my pancake and then catch me later. Alright, so now that we have all of our clips in our pancake sequence, this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a new sequence called main and we're going to click it and drag it down to the bottom here. And as you can see, this kind of creates um, what some might call a pancake or a flapjack. So now we can take all this footage from up here and kind of pan through it and pull what we need and pull it right down into our main sequence. And it's just going to make the editing process a little bit easier and make things more efficient. And we love efficiency. So we have our song down in our main sequence. And what we're going to do is just take our first footage and drag it right in. Perfect. Okay. So, so we want it to start speeding up right around this first little hit on the song. So what you're doing is dragging this down here. You're going to right click on this FX and time your mapping and speed. And that's essentially all you have to do to get to this. And Next thing you're going to do is click command. I'm not sure what it is on a Mac, but I'll find out for you. I mean on a PC, sorry. You click where you want to uh, add a point and you're just going to drag up. And we're going to bring this all the way up to around 800 or so. Now I filmed on a 150 frames per second camera, the GH5, and so I was able to get really, really smooth and slow shots. Let's see how this looks. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to go to our second shot, which is him running sideways like that. Oops. And let's drag it right here. And for this one, right click, time remapping speed. Drag a frame right there. Faster. Let's 
So another thing that I like to do, because oftentimes if you speed a clip up, um, it can get a little shaky. So I like to right click each clip and select nest. And this is just gonna put the clip into a separate sequence. Um, Cause you can't run warp stabilizer on a clip that has speed remapping to it. So just put those into separate clips. Um, we're gonna go to effects, warp stabilizer and drag these into each, and I'll let these render out, and then uh, I'll catch you back later. Okay, so now that Warp Stabilizer has been added, we're gonna go ahead and move on. We're going to transition him into running through the forest here. So I'll just drag this clip down. That's good. All right, now let's talk about transitions real quick. Um, of course, you can do the speed transitions, which you know, if, if you don't have a clip that completely lines up, then you can do the speed transitions. But if you have a clip where the subject lines up with the following clip, then you can do just a solid cut transition and it will look good. So as you can see, you know, our subject is in, you know, the middle, middle of the screen. And right here, he's gonna be almost in the exact same place. So what we can do with this clip is actually zoom it in just a little bit and up and try to get him to the middle of that screen so he's almost in the exact same place. You know. Then the viewer's eyes aren't going to be jumping around and th that's what you're really trying to go for when you do these transitions is keep the viewer's eyes in the same spot on the screen um, and I'll do a tutorial about that later but that's good and then right here we're going to do another speed remapping. And we're going to take this last clip and we're going to drag it down to here. And we're going to do one last speed transition. And that might have been just a little bit too much time there. Looking super good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more effects to it. Uh, that's essentially the end of the time remapping tutorial. Um, so you can stop it right now or you can watch me add some more effects and um, I'm going to pretty this thing up and make it look cool. So um, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is go to my project and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer like so. Up. This and what I like to do is drop the exposure just a little bit, boost the contrast, highlights down, shadows up, white's a little brighter, black's a little darker, and go to the curves. Do a shape similar to that. Go to the creative, boost the sharpness, vibrance up and the saturation down. And add a little bit of that. Perfect. Now what we can do is new item, we're gonna go to Black video. Okay. And we're going to drag it up top, like so. And let's move this up to about negative 420 and drag it out. Go up again, add a new video track. And 
chain for this one. We're going to drag it down. 40. Close enough. You get the point. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have the anamorphic look. And now we can start taking these clips and... There we go. This one could go up a little bit too. There. This one maybe down just a little bit. And that one's good. So now we have the anamorphic look. Perfect. All right, I'm going to do a couple more things. The first one is going to be add in some transition sound effects. And you can find these online. Um, it's about that's a good one. Okay, and this one I'm going to add here. That's good. Let's go ahead and drop volume. on the first one. That's all good, and the last but not least, I'm going to add a sound effect for the forest shots. So. Boom, so there you guys have it. Uh, definitely try it out, definitely uh, make a video with it and post the link below so I can see it. Uh, post your feedback below, let me know if you wanna see any other tutorials and like always, subscribe and like if you like this because I'll be making new ones hopefully every week. Um, but until then guys, take care and keep making awesome videos. Stepping out the door of you and me